Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I'm going to be discussing what I use to study for the pants. If you've seen my previous videos, I picked the pants and thankfully I pass the pants. I am now a certified physician assistant and I'm also a resident currently for critical care medicine. So I'm a critical care medicine resident. I decided to do a residency after PA school. Residencies, once again, are not necessary for you to work but I wanted to do a residency because I wanted to learn more. I wanted to get more hands-on practice in regards to treating patients, get more practice and experience doing intubations and just learning a lot more. Especially with critical care medicine, it's a very high learning curve. And so, and I definitely saw this during my rotation in the burn center. It was a very high learning curve. I wanted to make sure that I learned as much as I could. So that's why I decided to do a critical care medicine residency. I applied to one and thankfully I was accepted into one. So I am currently a critical care medicine resident. So what did I use to study for the pants? So I took the pants and I passed it on my first try. And what did I use to study? So what I used to study was by far pants prep rolls. I really like pants prep rolls, fantastic. It really gives you the information that you need to know. Sometimes you will get questions that are a little more deeper and sometimes that's one of the things and one of the flaws that pants prep rolls has is that it's really good at telling you what you need to know for the exam but in regards to growing a little bit more detail into the information like a little bit more detail into the pathophysiology a little more into detail in regards to um, treatment medications mechanism of action medications etc it doesn't do that so I use pants prep rolls in addition to that I also did the PA the physician assistant end of rotation exam review, which I will be adding the link below. So this is what I use, use mainly for my clinical year PA school. And I have to say that it really helped me out in regards to passing all, if not the only one I failed was my ER, but besides from that, I passed all of them and I passed them very, very high above average. And I have to say that this was one of the books that really helped me out because I know sometimes when you're reading it, it does have a lot of information specifically for certain rotations like there it's very very overwhelming because it just has too much information but I thought it was really good because it helped me in clinic and it also helped me on the pants and like I said with my clinical rotations so I use that book also if I was studying a certain topic like a certain disease like diabetes and I wanted to learn more in depth in regards to like the new medications right your SGL2 inhibitors and for example you know, what are they used for, diabetes, what's your mechanism of action, they're cardioprotective or not, etc. These, this is one of the books that I was supplemented with. So I really recommend that book. I really like that one. So I used pants prep rolls, that one. In regards to practice questions, I did a lot of rush review and I really recommend rush review. I love rush review. So what I did is I, I did a lot of practice questions. Um, how my study schedule was is that I studied about five to six weeks for the pants and what I did is that like the first four weeks I studied the material so I just studied whatever was on the pants blueprint and then those last two weeks what I did is that I did a lot of practice questions and then that fifth week I did the pants uh, the NCCPA like pants like mock exam which you can find on NCCPA they have a version A and B and they're about $50 each. I only did version A, so I took that out of my fifth week just to see how I did and what were my subjects that I was read in or what was the subjects that I needed to study a little bit more on and work on, so I did that. And so once I did that, then I focused, of course, on those subjects. But those last two weeks, I did a lot of practice questions. I finished all of the Rosh Review exam bank, which is like about 3,000 questions, so I did all of those. And what I did is that on the questions that I missed, I took pictures of them and then I added them onto a Word document. And the following day, the morning, what I would do is that I would wake up, I would go through the questions that I missed the prior day, and then I would start doing the questions again. And then I would repeat that every day for those uh, two weeks before my exam. And so I really recommend Rosh. If you're a visual person like me, I think their visual images are amazing and they're succinct and they're really, easy to memorize and that's what I did. I definitely looked at these and they really stayed in my mind when I was taking the pants. So I really like their visual images. So Rosh Review, I highly recommend. 
not only for the pants, but also for your clinical end of rotation exams. I love, love, love Rush Review. So Rush Review, and the thing about Rush Review also is that they do give you extra information, and I always like that extra information because you'll be surprised. I got some questions on the pants where I was like, what? this was not in the blueprint. So they give you that extra information and it really helped me out. And I do have to say that I swear that there were some questions that were identical to the ones on your Rush Review. Like there were, if not similar. And if it wasn't for me reviewing the questions every day, I would have not done so well on the pants. So Rush Review questions, I really recommend them. The other ones that I really like were Exam Master, but I do have to say that I felt like some of the ones on Exam Master were a little bit easier in regards to the questions that I had on the pants and they were easier to me than the Rush Review questions, but I still like Exam Master because what you see when you're taking these questions is just what are the kind of common things that they are asking in regards to a specific disease? Like what are the things that are commonly being asked? And you'll see patterns and that really helped me out in regards to the pants. So Rush Review, Exam Master. I also like the U World. The U World questions were definitely very, very difficult, but I mean, if you can do well in the U World, you're definitely going to pass pants because U World questions were very difficult, but I think they really helped me out also once again with my endo rotation exams and then also in regards to passing the pants. And if you're a huge avid podcast listener, I really recommend also the Physician Assistant Exam Review Podcast by Brian Wallace. This one's free and you're able to listen to it on the go. So for example, for me, you know, you're sitting down the entire day studying. There will be times where I get up and just walk around, just take a break. I would listen to the podcast. If I'm cleaning, listen to the podcast. If I'm cooking, I would be listening to the podcast. One of my classmates, she what she did is that every day she woke up and she walked her dog for about half an hour and she listened to the podcast the entire time. So that's another way that you can do it. And I really like that one. I also like the Internal Medicine uh, Curb Ciders. They, their podcast is free also. They go over a variety of specific diseases and they go into very, very detail. So I really like their podcast. I listen to them on the daily, so I really recommend them also. And then Osmosis is amazing for didactic year and for clinical year and even for the pants. I also use Osmosis. I know some of my classmates that used osmosis a lot and they heavily use osmosis for the pants and they did really well. Um, for me, I just would use osmosis when there were certain subjects that I didn't understand or pathophysiology or medications that I didn't understand, I would use osmosis. But what I did use a lot for osmosis was their flashcards. So I started using their flashcards during my didactic year PA school and I continued using their flashcards every day until I took the pants. So every day until, until I took the pants, I was doing their flashcards. And I know this sounds really crazy, but what I did is that I finished, I did about 10,000 flashcards from didactic year until before I took the pants exam. So I did about 10,000 flashcards. And what I did is that those six weeks that I was studying from that first day of those six weeks that I was studying for the pants is that I grabbed all those flashcards and I shuffled them. And I started doing them all over again. So from day one until like the sixth week, I went through all those flashcards. I would go through about 300 flashcards a day, sometimes 400. And the thing is like when you're doing them repeatedly, there's some flashcards that you're not very familiar with. For example, certain diseases that you don't remember. So it takes you a little bit longer to go through the flashcards. But what I found is by like the fourth week, I was going through these flashcards super quickly because I knew, I knew them very well. So I know it might take you a, a longer time when you're studying for the pants, like the first few weeks, but as you, your stamina grows and as you know you're learning your information and you know it, then it's gonna grow a lot more. So that's what I did. And the thing that I like about osmosis flashcards is that you get everything. You get pathophysiology, you get pharmacology, you get anatomy and physiology, you get everything. And so that's why I really liked their deck. And I think they really helped me out in regards to passing the pants because there were certain questions that I had that were really in depth in regards to nerves and anatomy and anatomy by far is not one of my fortes but if it wasn't for these osmosis flashcards that tested me on anatomy I would have not done well on these questions so that's what I did um, and that's what I used so once again I used osmosis flashcards osmosis videos just to brush up on a few things in regards to pathophysiology or certain diseases that I was not familiar with I used also pants prep rolls, 
the end of rotation, the PA end of rotation exam review book, which is amazing. I love it in regards to practice questions. Exam Master, I love Exam Master. I also use Rush Reviews. Rush Review is by far one of my favorite ones. Your World is really good too. And then, like I said, Osmosis Flashcards, just supplementing that throughout uh, the entire time that I was studying. And then that day before I took the pants, I took the day completely off. So I binged watched movies and shows that I had not seen. I finished the Bridgerton series that entire day. So fantastic show. And anyways, I did nothing before I took my exam. That way I can just relax, mentally relax. And that's what really helped me out. I did really well. I did above average on my pants exam. So I was very happy and I do have to credit what I used to study and then of course my studying schedule. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, for those of you who are preparing for your pants. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback, or any topics that you would like me to talk about in future videos, comment below and I'll talk to you guys later.